Hello Aquarius viewers. So I'm going to be looking into your situation, seeing what your person might be feeling, thinking, just any updates regarding their energy and any action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. So for Aquariuses that are drawn to this video, what is the situation? Like, tell me the story regarding your love life. What is the story here? What is the story? Please make it clear and direct. Is this person coming back around? What is what is the connection? What is the situation? What do the Aquarius viewers need to know about this connection? Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Six of Swords, the Magician. Queen of Cups, the page, oh, let me put these down here a little bit, eh, Six of Swords, the Magician, Queen of Cups, it's pretty good energy here, Emperor reversed, Four of Swords reversed, Knight of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles upright, and then the Page of Wands, I don't know where that was supposed to be, that just kind of popped out, okay, I feel like you're about to go through some kind of transition or some type of psychic awakening process here. With the Seven of Pentacles, it's like this is something that you bled for, something you worked really hard for. So this could be like a change in career or hobbies or um, a new home. Could be anything of that sort. For a lot of you, I see it as like a psychic rebirth or a psychic awakening process coming in. It's like you had to go through all these lessons, all this pain to get to where, the point where you're the queen of wands. You're this person who is powerful and charismatic and, um, you know, passionate, energetic, confident. But you had to go through all this pain and all these hard life lessons in order to get to that point. Um, I think it's been a difficult road, but it's kind of saying that that battle is finally almost over. It's like whatever you've been fighting for, if you've been like financially stressed the financial stress is starting is getting to that point where it's going to come to an end finally um you know you're realizing there's a way out you're you're seeing the bigger picture it's just like you have all this these psychic downloads coming in i feel um so there's it's yeah it's it's good energy you have this new start like i see new starts all throughout this read with the queen of wands it's again just charismatic energy confidence strength courage page of wands would be a new beginning especially when it comes to something you're really passionate about so this could be a new beginning with um business or a new job a new home new a new hobby you're pursuing uh, I, I think i still get the psychic awakening energy for a lot of you that a lot of you are going to get into like doing tarot or oracle card readings maybe buying your first decks just kind of getting on your spiritual path right now is what I'm feeling. Could also be some good news coming in that helps you move forward with your life. You know, Six of Fords is all about letting go of the past and moving forward with your life. You know, it's kind of very similar energy to the Sun card. You're just, you're in this transition basically. Whether it's a new job, new home, uh, pursuing new hobbies maybe all of the above maybe you're just you're becoming a new person basically maybe you're going through all that energy right now but i, I see you getting into your power because i keep looking at the seven of pentacles here and it's it's like something again something you bled for something that you worked really hard for something you fought for and and this could actually be like you know getting a college degree or getting a new job or apartment hunting and finally finding the right house for a lot of you, though, I do think it's, again, talking about your psychic awakening process that you're coming into. And it makes sense with the Lion's Gate coming up on Saturday. It's not really surprising. The Son of Pentacles, I mean, it could be like you had to go through all these these harsh life experiences to... to you, you have a lot of life experiences, what I get from this reading. And you do have a lot of angelic protection around you as well. Uh, just saw 444. I get that like nothing was really handed to you. You kind of just had to be independent and fight for everything that you've earned that you've ha that you've had. 
And those life experiences, I think, like, reflecting back on them now, it's like it taught you empathy. It taught you strength and independence and courage. Uh, it's it's going to, all those harsh life experiences you went through are really going to be helping you on your spiritual path. It's going to help you connect and relate well to others. You're going to be able to tell your story to people and people are going to connect with it and resonate with it. If you've been through abuse or whatever, I feel you like public speaking, like you're going to be talking about your experiences. You're going to be sharing your experiences with the world and it's going to help other people heal. Uh, I just, I get this energy, this very powerful, very confident energy that you're coming into. You're just really stepping on into your true path. Finally, uh, it's, it's really good. So six of swords. Yeah. Leaving the past behind, learning the lessons, moving forward. You're in this magician energy too. Which again, you know, you're a powerful manifest. You're you're coming into your abilities. You're manifesting money, love, uh, new hobbies, new just whatever you want in your life. You're realizing that you can manifest what you want. You're you're taking responsibility for your life. Uh, you're being more independent. You're you're just making your life what you want it to be. And you're also in this very beautiful Queen of Cups energy. So there's a lot of passion and a lot of emotion in this read. You know, there's we see a lot of. Um, we see the Queen of Wands and also the Queen of Cups. So I feel like that's just kind of referring to, you know, Wands is, is passion, it's hobbies, career, power. Uh, Queen of Cups, that's more about emotion, but it's like, it's still, it's, it's like passion and emotion. It's really good. It's like you're using, you're using your passion and your emotion and your, just your drive, your just innate courage and your innate drive to manifest the kind of life that you want you know you're coming back I think that maybe you were out of touch with your passion and your emotions for a little while and now you're getting back in touch with them because you see like the four of swords and the emperor reverse so like the four of swords upright would be like isolation stagnation loneliness uh, depression that kind of energy but since it's reversed it's like you're coming out of that phase or if you you know you're coming out of that energy you're, you're getting back out there and living your life again the emperor reverse too you know the emperor would be control issues to me upright in this particular read i would see that as as stag again stagnation control issues being reserved but you know since it's it's reversed it's like you're moving past that energy you're you're taking this leap of faith you're you know you're braver than you were before. You're, you're just, you're very powerful, very confident, very magical, really very enchanting. You know, you're, you're healing your control issues. You're letting go of that energy. You're getting in touch with your more free spirited, spiritual, emotional side. Uh, so yeah, queen of wands, queen of cups, you know, you know, passion, courage, fire type energy, and then cups, water, um, emotions, uh, vulnerability just just this very strong very powerful feminine energy that you guys are getting into right now especially with the magician here again just taking control and manifesting the life that you want i think if you're coming out of this period of stagnation and like depression and isolation and control issues like you're you're healing from that you're coming forward uh with the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, I think it's kind of warning you to ground yourself, though, especially if you're about to go through a psychic awakening process. Like, if you're about to go through this whole process where, because I see a transition here, I feel a lot of life changes for you in this reading. Uh, with the Knight, Knight of Pentacles, I kind of, in this particular reading, I kind of see it as someone that, like, charges head first. It's like, Knight of Pentacles, Pentacles is always a more stable energy, for sure. I just, I, I, looking at these cards, I kind of feel like it's like a warning not to overwork yourself. You know, don't, if you get a new job, don't work 40 or 50 hours a week. If you're pursuing new hobbies, don't, just don't overdo it. Like, find a good balance in your life is basically what the cards are saying, I believe. Knight of Pentacles, I mean, I almost get like this energy of someone like charging head first into something and like overwhelming themselves. It's kind of the energy I get. So it's like you are a knight. You are very strong and passionate and courageous right now, but you want to be like a knight of pentacles. You want to like, you want that stable, that stable kind of energy, you know, you want to move forward. You want to be courageous. You want to be strong. You want to be in your power. You want to keep going forward. But, um, like ground and protect yourself too you know especially with the two of pentacles here that's like about balance that's like juggling work and home and family life it's 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 
not giving too much energy to any one thing. It's just finding a good, healthy balance between everything. And especially, if, again, if you're coming into your psychic awakening, it makes sense that they're warning you to to balance things out. Like, you want to protect yourself. You want to ground yourself. You want to cleanse. You want to, um, you know, your spiritual gifts can just come flowing in all at once. And for a lot of people, that can be kind of overwhelming. So it's just saying, like, just find a steady middle ground, basically. Okay, let's see what I can get on love. Because sometimes, again, the cards just kind of say what they want to say. So sometimes they won't tell me about love. Sometimes they just want to talk about something else you're going through. So is there anything about your love? Oh, let me try different cards, actually. Okay, are you guys willing to tell me anything about the viewer's love life? Like, what do I want to, what do we need to know about the love, their love lives right now? Do I want all those? Okay, I guess I do. I guess so. Okay. Moon, risk, forbidden. Chaos, interesting. Fragment reversed. Rigid. Understanding. Okay. When I started doing a reading, I just got hit with this like wave of exhaustion. So if you're tired now, it's saying like don't overwork yourself, give yourself a break, rest, heal. Um, if this isn't current energy, it's like saying, like, be careful, make sure you don't get into that energy in the future. Like, make sure you don't exhaust yourself, basically, uh, with whatever it is. Could be work, but could also be a psychic awakening that you're about to come into, like I was saying. Uh, you know, just make sure you find that healthy balance. Make sure you ground and protect yourself. Yeah, again, there's just more of this energy. I, I feel like something's really coming in. There's just this energy shift that's coming in for you, probably on the Lion's Gate or during the next full or new moon cycle. I feel probably the Lion's Gate on the 8th. That would make more sense. So we have the moon here and we have risk. So it's like you're being called and tested to put everything you've experienced and everything you've learned to good use to basically just be true, to be your true self. You're being called to this new life path or new spiritual path, I feel. I just, I see major transition. It's almost like a tower moment, I feel, here. You know, we have this, this spiritual, emotional, passionate, intuitive energy coming in with the moon card. And then we have risk, you know, that's... I feel like you were blocked before. This energy was, this new fresh energy was forbidden to you before. It was, this is the forbidden card, and then we have chaos, fragment, upside down, rigid, and understanding. And it's like, with forbidden here, it's like this this new energy, this purging process, and this new life, it was all like forbidden to you before, probably because of, you know, trust issues, just stagnation, uh, mental, spiritual blocks, physical world blocks, whatever it might have been. And you're just like charging headfirst, like through all of that, you're just... You know, you're taking this risk. You're making your life what you want it to be. You know, you're not letting things be forbidden to you anymore. You're not l allowing abundance or love or anything that you want be forbidden to you anymore. And with this chaos, it's like this energy, like this tower moment that just comes in and just cleanses out all the blocks, cleanses out whatever was blocking you from um, from the life that you wanted, basically, is what I'm getting. You know, you're, you're, again, you're the, magici the magician with this energy. So this is a really potent time for you. This is a time when you're really stepping into your power, when you're really learning to use your intuitive gifts. You're learning to, to visualize, to, to manifest the kind of life that you want. And I see this very spiritual energy, like just like, you know, when someone has like this spiritual rebirthing process where it's like they're just enthralled by the flowers and the trees and animals and they just love life again like everything just seems just so fresh and new to them and that's kind of the energy i get you know with fragment reversed and and rigid here 
it's like the rigid card is looking at the fragment card here and fragment is reversed so if fragment was upright it'd be like you know not it's being like only part of yourself not being your full self feeling lost feeling alone feeling isolated um not being in your power but since it's reversed it's like you're coming out of that energy you know and you have this new understanding of of why things were rigid in the past you know because you weren't fully in touch with yourself you weren't fully in touch with your power you were only allowing yourself to be part of who you are and I think you're just you're having this like all these epiphanies and just this clarity and this new understanding of why things were rigid and blocked in the past you know and you're making this like vow to yourself not to ever be in that fragmented energy again you're making your vow this vow to be the queen of wands to be the queen of cups you know kind of merging the two actually having this emotional passionate intuitive balance you know like this like all three basically it's like that's what you're coming into you're coming into this magician energy where you're just being your whole self it's like maybe doing soul retrieval work too that's always what i feel when i get this card the fragment card it's like just being you know whole again in regards to relationships, like if this for, I mean, your guys just kind of wanted to focus on you and on this new energy that's coming in for you. And they pretty much control the cards. I mean, I can ask a certain question, but they're going to come through and tell me, you know, tell you what they want to tell you. And, and so I can't really control where the reading goes. Even if I try to focus on a specific question, they usually just kind of take over. But um, with Forbidden and Chaos here, and I think for some of you, this is like a second additional meaning um if this could apply to your relationship and it could be you, both meanings apply to you but with the moon and risk maybe it's like you're wanting to do things differently in your relationship like you're wanting to communicate on a more like a deeper more spiritual level maybe things are stagnant or you're just like i don't know like just not i don't want to say, i wouldn't say boring or but not like fully stagnant but it's like the passion needs to come back to the relationship maybe things have just been kind of like you guys have been focusing on survival or just i don't know it's like this new energy coming into your relationship too if you're in one is what i'm feeling so for those that are like in a relationship i feel like it's like you're taking a risk and communicating in a different way and maybe if before that felt forbidden to you like maybe before you were kind of like more shy and insecure and like you didn't know how to talk that way you didn't know how to be that assertive you didn't know how to speak from an intuitive place you didn't know how to express your needs and your boundaries you didn't know how to be so vulnerable and it's like you're you're becoming a whole new person who's able to do that and so it's like you have this like chaos coming in where it's like wow you're really communicating in different ways than you have before and with the fragment card and the rigid if this is again if this is if you're in a relationship it's like you're kind of aware of why the relationship was stagnant it's like you have this new understanding and then you're coming you have these epiphanies coming from your guides and i see you like going to your partner to kind of talk about what needs to change and just talking to them from like a very spiritual intuitive just passionate place it's like you're you just have this like whole new higher perspective this whole fresh perspective perspective oh my god what is wrong with me but anyway, it's very good energy, and if this reading resonates, you can book a private reading from me. My information is below. I could definitely go more in-depth in your situation, and if it resonates, go ahead and subscribe to me too. Thank you.